Hello and welcome to Topham Chats, the show where I chat to various members of the Rooster Teeth community. My guest yet again is Kel, or Killer Kel from the Rooster Teeth community. Hey man, how's it going? Hey, it's up. I'm doing well. How are you? Yeah, I'm doing good. It's um, good. It's been so long since we talked last. <laughs> yes, it has. <laughs> so we've just been in like a six hour Skype call. So I know, that's, oh, that's man. The reference six hour Skype calls. <laughs> it's been, it was a lot of fun today as well. So I'm just like yeah. sitting playing guitar and just having fun. <laughs> everyone's, everyone's having exactly. fun too. And we're just, yeah, all just enjoying ourselves. And uh, yeah, it seems like it's going well as well. So, yeah. Or as you say, adventure. Adventure and shenanigans. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't say. Sh- I don't think I said shenanigans once as well. And like I've been saying it for everything recently. Yeah. So it's like shenanigans, yay! <laughs> it's just like a oh, complete yeah. riot. So I went to Magic on Friday night and I got Soren, who's a planeswalker, and added yes. him into my deck. Um, mm-hmm. I took out two cards that I don't really need. I'm playing a black white warriors deck and it works quite well. Put Soren in there and it's bumped up how the deck holds together because Mm. as soon as i hit four mana he's my highest cost card there's one ability that can be activated for one mana higher than that that will pretty much decisively win me the game um if i've got the right cards on the board which is brutal horde chief's ability which lets you pay five mana and choose how the opponent blocks so if i've got lots of things i can just swing with that if i've got soren on the board i'll plus one to him and everything gets plus one plus zero and lifelink so yeah. if I've got like five creatures on the board, that's an immediate like ten point life swing. So mm-hmm. it's uh, very very nice. And, yeah. um, I'm looking at him now. It's it's good, definitely. Yeah. And oh yeah, oh yeah. He's yeah really nice yeah. to play with. So I can just yeah. like plus one and immediately gain a whole bunch mm-hmm. of life. But it's until my next turn. So yeah. even if I don't attack with everything, if my opponent blocks, I gain life off of blocking as well. Mm-hmm. So it kind of neutralizes everything that could be coming in. Yeah, for um, me the pl- the plus one for him the uh, the everyone gets plus one plus zero and gains life like yeah. thing mm-hmm. is the best part of that card. Like don't get me wrong, the minuses are good too. The minus yes. two, and minus six, yeah. but uh, but the plus one I think for me is for a plus that's an amazing that's an amazing ability. Yeah, that's yeah. an amazing plus one, yeah. and um, yeah, it won me a few games. And yeah. one of the games I had Spear of Heliod turn three, which gives everything plus one plus one, mm-hmm. and you can destroy a card that's on the board. And then I pulled Atheos turn four which is a 5-4 creature that turns into a creature. It's a god, but turns into yeah. a creature when you've got um, devotion of 7 or higher. <laughs> and any creatures that die while he's on the board go back to your hand unless your opponent pays 3 life. So, mm. yeah. So then I got cycle. Sorin out next turn, and plus 1, and my devotion was high enough that I just swung with it. Yeah. yeah. I managed to outpace a mono red aggro deck as well, which nice. was pretty amazing. Because <laughs> no one outpaces a mono red. He took me down to six. <laughs> I um, got Soren on the board, attacked, went up to 21 life, and he was just like, I can't deal with that life gain. So he conceded immediately. Mm-hmm. I was like, yay, I'm the greatest. <laughs> so I had a lot of fun playing that. Have you been playing Magic at all recently? Uh, I have a little bit. Um, it's been okay. mostly mostly Magic Online on the um, on the Steam game. Yeah. Uh, when uh, I've been hanging out since I spent a lot of time with Emma, um, she uh, or Beepep on the site, uh, I've taught her how to play Magic, um, mm-hmm. and it's mostly through the um, the Steam one, which is a little different. Um, it yeah. takes some getting used to, but but it's it is it still has the core mechanics, still has the core fun aspects to it, and yeah. so it's a good amount of fun, yeah. Um, and so I've been teaching her that, and she has eventually fallen in love with the game. Uh, when she was up here not too long ago, we played with uh, with Matt, who you met today. Yep. Um, and yeah, it's, it's, it's a good amount of fun. Um, I'm still making a demon deck using the acolytes that they came out with not too long ago that you can like uh-huh. sacrifice a bunch of them and bring a demon out from your deck. Um, oh, I'm okay. also, I'm always working on a wolf deck because wolves are my favorite, wolves are my favorite animals ever. So, um, ah, nice. not necessarily the best cards, but I do, I'm a big fan of, of theme decks. Yes. Um, yeah. So yes. Usually that's, there's that's pretty good synergy doing. between the cards and everything. Yeah. Like that's nice. Um, how was that meetup, like last week? Was it last week? Yeah, it, it was. Ooh, week? it was. Yeah, I think it was last weekend. Last, last weekend. Was, yes, yeah. it was last weekend. Um, yeah, we had a GGG slash RT, but mostly GGG anyway. Yeah. Um, uh, DC meetup, and everyone stayed at my house. Uh, we had Dark Light, the Dark Light from the site. We had Beepat from the site. We had me and Killercom from the site. Uh, we had a Dane from the site, and we had V Genesis from the site, uh, awesome. and. It was great. It was a lot of fun. Um, it was we we took them. I I live here, so I'm I'm in between DC and Baltimore, uh, and so I sh- Darklight also lives close to DC. So we both uh, showed them around DC and 
It was a lot of fun. Oh, and C. Bondi, uh, 2014 was, was there as well. Oh, Sorry, okay, Bondi. Didn't mean to forget you. Yeah, Cass. Cass. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, so it was, we had tons of fun. We watched movies, played games. Um, it, was, it was a good time. Yeah. Ah, awesome. I can't wait <laughs> for, like, just to meet up with people and play, like, physical games rather than video yeah. games with them as well. I just got Adventure Time Munchkin, and I'm just like, I can't wait to play <laughs> this with people. Just, yes. Yeah, so we, many, uh, so much fun. After and it was unfortunately after Cassie left, I think. But we played uh, we played Clue, we played um, Scategories, we played mm-hmm. uh, Apples to Apples. Like it was it was all good. Yeah. Ah, awesome. So, <laughs> which video games have you been playing recently? The most recent one I would say is Bloodborne, which is funny because I think the last time I talked, we talked. I was like, "Don't talk about Bloodborne too much because I okay. don't want to know spoilers." Okay, but um, fair enough. now I know, so we don't have to worry too much. Actually, nice. I've looked into like all the lore videos, so oh, I know. Well, I haven't done right. that yet, so I know. Like, don't I'm worry, I won't spoil you. First. Now we're in a reverse situation. Yeah. <laughs> but, so um, where are you up yeah. to? I uh, I haven't gotten much farther than we actually. Oh, I'm at the. Are you, have you gotten to the village yet? Uh, which village? Oh, a village. Okay, so it's oh. uh, it's after the witches. Um, it is that sort of like burning village okay. where there are a lot of traps going into it. It has the is the famous oil trap. That one. No, I don't know no. what you're talking about. Okay. unfortunately. Um, so I beat the witches, right? Yes. And then I w- got the um, went and activated the cart thing that takes you to the castle. Yeah, I haven't done that yet myself. So I've done I, that, uh, but I yeah. haven't done that bit. And then I yeah, opened I up the direction. area underneath the castle after beating Vicar Amelia. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I've been trying to go through that area as well. I managed to run through there. Like I was just like on a oh, I'll just try and run through and see what yeah. see what comes up. And I managed to run through, make a loop, and get to the other side of Isefka's clinic. Mm-hmm. So I'm just like, how did I get here? <laughs> and um, so I've unlocked like both sides of like when you walk out of the clinic, what one of the gates says, oh, can't be opened from this side. Yeah. I've come up from the other side and opened it now. So I'm mm. just like, oh, I can explore there. And you get to go through <laughs> Isefka's clinic, and she wants you to stay away. So I won't. Yes. Do you know anything about that about Isefka? I do. Yes. Okay. So I've I've seen her and yeah, she's she's full of shenanigans. She's fun. Yes, she is. <laughs> and um. But yeah, I sent quite a few people to her before, and then yeah, once you see what she does, you're just like, yeah, maybe that was a mistake. <laughs> maybe I should have mm. sent them to the Odin Chapel. But mm. eh, yeah, there's yeah. so many different ways to go in that game. Like I went up the, uh, yeah, there's so many. Like you just miss things. Like there's a doorway yeah. that I missed. Like when I was going through it, that takes you up into this tower, and then you get to platform down the tower. Um, oh, you mean in Odin Chapel? Yeah. yeah. Yes, there are some there. there are some interesting things in there. Yeah. It's so, it's so interesting. I'm just like, yeah. oh, I'm just <laughs> completely in awe of the game and how it's designed. So I'm just yes. like, I don't really know still what I'm looking for when I'm going <laughs> through it. I think it's been a few weeks since I've actually played it. Yeah, it's it's been I the same for me as well. I yeah. just want to play it more and more, but <laughs> I find myself seeing someone online and being like, I'll load up Destiny because Destiny mm-hmm. is the game that I automatically go to at the moment. Yeah, which is a bit of a pain. But the DLC <laughs> came out, and I'm thoroughly enjoying it. Good, um, good. And, yeah, I uh, heard. I heard it was like bringing people back in, which is great for the game. Yes, yeah, yeah. it is. And um, yeah, me and me and the guys I play with are all excited about yeah. it. Um, Rock just got it as well, so nice. That's cool. We're running him. Yeah, through. Rock is cool. Yeah, we're running him through a few things, and uh, he's already hit level 29. So it's just nice. like he just needs bits of armor here and there, and. Mm. That's all he needs really at the moment is armor until hit level thirty two. Yeah. Pretty pretty easily, pretty handily. Um I got all my characters to thirty four this weekend, which means it took me less than a week and a half really to from the <laughs> DLC release to hit max. And um could have done it the week before. Actually, if if the uh, if one of the vendors was selling the right bit of armor I'd easily been able to do it on Tuesday as well, but he wasn't, mm-hmm. so I'm just like eh. But now I'm just like I've got level thirty four, now I need to start looking into the correct like correct weapons that I want to use and the correct perks on all the armor and stuff like that so it's like oh yeah I've reached the end game and now it is really just going to do that but it is a lot of fun to play still so I'm just like ah, I'm kind of okay with it <laughs> very nice very very nice uh, yeah and aside from Bloodborne I've uh, for game nights I played Worms uh, Clan Wars and also TF2 uh, okay. I'm sorry not TF2 Gmo. so that's what I've done Okay. Have you played, have you been have you gotten the uh, Guns of Icarus train with, uh, with everyone else? I haven't yet, but I, okay. I yeah I uh someone someone one of them gave it to me, uh, okay. so 
I, uh, yeah, I was going to pick up four some copies though, so. for a certain yeah. amount, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. It I see a nice. lot of them going like, "Oh, do you want to play Guns of Because they're like, "This is the best." <laughs> yeah, it's game. become like the the new popular game in the group. Yeah. Like, hey, the let's play Guns of Go to game, yeah. So they all like pop in and play it. I wanted to mm. just get some impressions on that, but I obviously you don't know, so I'm just like, "Yeah, okay." Yeah, it's it's. it's I mean, I've watched a good amount of footage uh, mm. from the game itself. It looks like a lot of fun, and everyone else claims it's a lot of fun as well. Yeah. So yeah, it looks good. Ah, cool. And um, how's Minecraft been recently? Minecraft has been good from what I understand. I unfortunately had to miss oh, yesterday because okay. I had a, uh, a high school graduation for a friend oh. of mine to go to. Okay. Um, but uh, it's apparently been fun. Uh, yesterday, Were I wish I could talk. Were you around last week? About... What was that? Were you around last week? Oh, no. Oh, I, no, I had to miss because of the meetup. Meet yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> well, it's been like two weeks. So, yeah, it's been oh, two yeah. weeks of, of Minecraft that I've had to miss. Uh, yeah. But I know, I think last week we did a community night, which is just... Survival? It was pro- I think it was or probably just... survival is what we did. Yeah. Um, and so it, we we tend to do survival when either uh, Beep or myself can't be there. Yeah. Um, and then yesterday we, I'm pretty sure we did uh, Pimp Lippies. Pimp Lippies. Uh, I'm pretty sure we did. They did this prison. prison I wasn't. I'm not sure because yeah, yeah. I wasn't really sure. We were, we we were, we were intentionally vague in the post as well because we weren't we weren't really sure how many people were gonna get either. Because um, I know it's uh, a lot of exams for uh, people who are on your side. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah but we got like 15. So I'm pretty sure they did the prison. And from what I understand from everyone else, it went really well. So. Ah, awesome. Sounds like the group's going well. Uh, is mm-hmm. there anything else you've been doing or working on that you want to share with everyone? Else? Um, Nothing yet, but we get closer and closer and closer. Yeah. Oh, I know. I know <laughs> what you're referencing there. Ah. Yes, you do. <laughs> cool. Uh, so I've, um, today, basically, the day we're yeah. recording this, we're recording this on Sunday, um, mm-hmm. set up an event for the RT UK group to just meet up in London uh, on a Saturday on the 27th of June. So I'm just like, I'm trying to get as many people along as possible. Mm-hmm. Um, my, uh, Izzy set up the group on Facebook. She was like, oh yeah, I'll do this. <laughs> oh, it's like, Izzy. Okay, of course it was Izzy. Of course it was Izzy. <laughs> it she would was like, be oh, Izzy. Yeah, yeah, I'll get it, uh, it organised because I don't know how to use Facebook to save my life. Yeah. So I'm just like, oh. <laughs> Thank you very much. So she saw that I set up the group on at uh, the uh, the event on the Rooster Teeth site. So now I'm just yeah. trying to make sure it all goes together and no information's missing or anything like that. So it's just yeah, and then inviting people as well because yeah. there's quite a few people that are just like oh if you're doing something let me know. So mm-hmm. I'm gonna try and do that, reach out and just be like yeah let's try and get a whole bunch of people. So there's already a bunch of people that Izzy invited that I don't really know that I've met like mm-hmm. once or twice. Yeah. So she invited like 35 people as well. By the first 35 time I got five people. By the first chance I had to look at it, there were seven people going with three wow. maybe's. Now it's like way higher than that. I'm just like See top. See this is the best thing about people. you. Automatic success. Congratulations. I know. It's like immediately I've got people going. Yes. So, 10 out of 10 top. <laughs> I know, right? Crazy. Well, that's the brief one for this week because I've kind of run out of time, unfortunately. I'm yeah. just like, oh no. But Partially my fault. I'm sorry. Tom. And I'm sorry, fine. viewers. My apologies as well to you. Ah, it's fine. But thank you very much for being my guest this week. It's why I'm here. <laughs> it's been fun to catch up. Yes. And uh, with that, everyone, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye. Bye.